Do you ever have one of those moments when you're all excited to do the next bit, namely gluing the head block and the tail block, and you remember that you've got a prerequisite step? I haven't drilled the holes in the head block yet. Now I want to do it now because it's so much easier to do it while this is off the guitar, um, and uh, I could just go to the drill press and just drill two holes in it. But what I want to do is I want to create a jig um, which will it will do two things. It will locate the holes, but it will also act as <laughs> maybe three things. Um, Spanish Inquisition. It is our two main things. Our three main things are that um, it will it will locate the holes. It will guide the holes, make them nice and perpendicular. But by reversing the jig and attaching it to the tenon, it will also mean that we can get the holes in the tenon lined up perfectly with the holes in the block. Um, th there is more than one way of doing this. I could put a couple of little, uh, well, I could just use a drill bit, put the neck tenon in here, and push the drill bit through and mark the holes that way. But then you've still got the problem of how to drill those holes perfectly lined with the holes here, you know. Um, perpendicular, assuming that these are in fact perpendicular. So, I want to go and make a, a jig. Now, here's the thing, bench dog. I could use my bench dog if I was prepared to sacrifice it. I'd want to put a, a rounded end on it. But apart from that, it is actually the perfect size. It, it fits the tenon Exact, well, it's, it's the same size as the tenon. It fits the mortise perfectly and is the right, uh, the right width and it's also the right depth. Uh, the, um, it, that will fit on um, behind the, uh, the, the, the side of the guitar and will, uh, will help um, line up the, um, the, the head block and make sure it, during the gluing process that it's absolutely square with the, um, the, the the top of the guitar. Um, so, <laughs> really, I've just got to uh, recreate my bench dog. The mortise was created with a 19 millimeter router bit, and uh, and then it was just the the, the, uh, the mortise was just widened a little bit, so there's a flat spot up here. Hence, this isn't a continuous arc; it's two separate 19 millimeter arcs.
I'm going to put the top hole 23 millimeters below the top of the block. Um, that gives clearance for the brace and a ten and a half millimeter wide head. I think the brace is 17. I think I noted somewhere. And I guess the next mark will be arbitrary, but uh, let's just give it a sensible 30 millimeters difference. got the depth stop set so that all being well the tip should just emerge from the other side and then I'll be able to drill in from that side so we don't get any tear out. of it going through. Now I'm just going to lock this place in with a with a metal dowel so this won't shift and then do the next one. I now have two very faint little marks where the tip of the drill has come through. It's a Brad Point drill, don't forget. And so I can just just peck those out to get perfectly crisp holes. We now have two perfectly centred holes and a jig that will allow us to put the holes in the tenon. One final bit of prep, I'm just going to bevel the edge, put about a one centimetre bevel, um, partly to reduce weight but also um, avoid having sharp edges inside the guitar. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, I'm a sweaty mess after all that planing and uh, a little bit of sanding. I've uh, softened the edges a little bit. Um, so that's the finished head block, ready for gluing. And of course, I have my template jig to make sure I drill the tenon accurately. See you in the next video.